morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare your praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to the coming King. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to the coming King. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 94. O Lord God of vengeance, O God of vengeance, show yourself. Rise up, O judge of the world. Give the arrogant their just deserts. How long shall the wicked, O Lord, how long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in their insolence. All evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your chosen nation. They murder the widow and the stranger and put the orphans to death. Yet they say the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob takes no notice. Consider well, you dullards among the people. When, when will you fools understand? He that planted the ear, does he not hear? That he that formed the eye, does he not see? He who admonishes the nations, will not uh, will he not punish? He who teaches all the world, has he no knowledge? The Lord knows our human thoughts, how little a puff of wind they are. Happy are they who, who you instruct, O Lord, whom you teach out of your law, to give them rest in evil days until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not abandon his people, nor will he forsake his own. For judgment will again be just, and all the true heart will follow it. Who rose up for me against the wicked, who took my part against the evildoers. If the Lord had not come to my help, I should soon have dwelt in the land of silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped. Your love, O Lord, upheld me. When my ears, uh, when, when many cares fell, uh, fill my mind, your consolations cheer my soul. Can a corrupt tribunal have any part with you or one frames evil into law they conspire against the life of the just and condemn the innocent to death but the lord has become my stronghold and my god the rock of my trust he will turn their wickedness back upon them and destroy them in their own malice the lord our god will destroy them let us pray lord jesus do not abandon your people nor ignore the power of the enemy against your church Grant that those who suffer for the sake of justice may find consolation in the cross and be filled with your joy now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our reading today, our first reading comes from 1 Samuel, the second chapter beginning with verse 1. My heart exalts in the Lord. My strength is exalted in the Lord. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy like the Lord. There is none besides thee. There is no rock like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth, for the Lord is a, a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty are broke the bows of the mighty are broken, but the but the feeble gird on strength. Those who are full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who are hungry have ceased to hunger. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to Sheol and rises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low. He also exalts. He rises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones. But the wicked shall be cut off in darkness for not by might shall a man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Against them he will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the power 
of the anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Our second reading comes from Titus, the second chapter, beginning with verse 1. But as for you, teach what befits a sound doctrine. Bid the older men be... uh, Bid the older men be temperate, serious, sensible, sound in faith, in love, and in steadfastness. Bid the older women likewise to be reverent in behavior, not to be slanderers or slaves to drink. They are to teach what is good and to train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be sensible, chaste, domestic, kind, and submissive to their husbands, that the word of God may not be discredited. Likewise, urge the younger men to control themselves. Show yourselves in all respect a model of good deeds, and in your teaching, show integrity, gravity, and sound speech that cannot be censored, so that an opponent may be put to shame, having nothing evil to say of us, but slaves to be submissive to their masters, and to give satisfaction in every respect. They are not to be refractory, nor to to pilfer, but to show entire and true fidelity, so that in everything, they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Holy Gospel comes from Luke, the first chapter. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How shall this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinsman Elizabeth, kinsman, kinswoman Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is in her sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. Oh, no, sorry, I forgot the... Yeah. Fear not, Mary, you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Alleluia. I already read that in the scripture today in the gospel. Behold, uh, blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Fear not, Mary, you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father, you show the world the splendor of your glory in the coming of Christ, born of the Virgin. Give us true faith and love to celebrate the mystery of God made man. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. <coughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Tuesday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day, and I hope to see you tomorrow. God bless you, and bye-bye.